Now around the capital, 28 degrees. It feels as if it's 22 degrees and our friends in the Electric City. Temperatures are a lot warmer but when you factor in the wind. It feels as if it's in the upper 20s. Let's take a look at what to expect today. We're going to be mostly dry, but we will have a slight breeze. Let's take a look at the, condi the conditions. So we'll have partly cloudy skies. We will have clouds that will start to build in as our next weather maker make its way into the treasure state and that is going to make its way into the state late tonight going into tomorrow. Now breezy conditions for southwest and southeast Montana. Windy conditions for our friends off the Rocky Mountain front and the wind will continue but will subside tonight going into tomorrow. Let's take a look at today's high temperatures. You have some 30s, 40s and some locations actually hitting the 50s. Havard, Jordan and Roundup. 50 degrees, mostly sunny skies. We do have this ridge of high pressure that's going to stay camped out to our southeast while our next system work its way into the state during the evening hour. And with that system, the morning commute will be messy for some areas. As those clouds start to build in through the overnight hours, we will have moisture, freezing rain in areas along the high line. Snow will fall in the lower elevations. It's going to be extremely minimal. By noon, things will start to clear up. For central Montana, eastern Montana will have a little bit more precipitation on tap, but the snow totals are going to be extremely minimal around the capital. We may get an inch or so. Butte, one to three inches. Missoula, one to three inches. And Kalispell, an inch. Most of the snow will stay confined to the mountains. So if you're traveling across Marias Pass, Lolo Pass, Lookout Pass, please give yourself enough time to leave. Tomorrow's temperatures will cool nearly 12 degrees in some areas. Haver, 38 degrees. Today's forecasted high will be in the 50s. And we will have overcast skies. The system will taper off by noon. Friday, ridge of high pressure will build in. We'll have partly cloudy skies. Some locations down in south central Montana will see a little bit more sunshine. Going into the weekend is going to be windy, but before I show you the seven day, let's take a look at the future track. We're going to have dry conditions going Saturday and also on Sunday. Things will be pretty windy, especially for our friends in Great Falls. Wednesday, which is today, southwest winds will be sustained between 15 to 30 miles per hour, and that is really feeding the temperatures to the upper 40s. Tomorrow, overcast skies, 40 degrees. West winds will be sustained between 10 to 20 miles per hour. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, partly cloudy skies. Going into the new work week, we do have a ridge of high pressure that's going to build in, and that's going to feed the temperatures as well. Let's take a look at Helena. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures will trend in the low 40s. Tomorrow, overcast skies. Temperatures will cool to the upper 30s. Friday, partly cloudy skies. Temperatures still in the 30s. Monday, 40 degrees. But before I toss it back to Andy, let's take a look at today's trivia question. Over the weekend, which county in Montana had the highest wind gusts? A, is it Cascade County? B, Teton County? C, Sweetgrass? Or D, Glacier? I'll have that answer at the end of the show. Back to you, Andy.